What do you think? Good. Good morning, everybody. It's uh, what is it? Thursday? Today Wednesday? Thursday. I think today's Thursday morning, April 16, 2020, and I'm actually headed into the office for the day. Um, I got some work that need to be uh, that needs to be done on site and stuff. Um, so I'm going in to assist with a project and all kinds of stuff. So um, it's about 9:24. I'm gonna race and try to get it into work by 8:10. I have a meeting at 10. We'll see if that happens. I did email the guy and told him I might be late. Um, so um, everything's good. I just finished up the masks, the mask care package for Nikki and her family. So that's another three additional masks going out. So I gave my brother's family, I think I gave him four. Gave my sister's family three. And Nikki's family, um, three. So I wanna say that that's 10 total. Um, so yeah, I just was prepping them this morning during my morning meeting. Um, I had to put in a change request for some work that goes on today from four to 5 p.m. Um, so I'm hoping I can leave work by like 3, get home by 4, and then sit at home on that meeting instead of having to leave work at like 5 or something. So we'll see. Um, I haven't been on the road in a while and haven't gone to work in a week or so. So I'm not quite sure how traffic will be or any of that stuff. But it feels like the uh, area is slowly opening back up in terms of traffic a lot more traffic um, all the landscapers are out of course they're doing their thing and <clears throat> yeah we're, we're everything's starting to kind of come back alive so today's Thursday Nikki was telling me that they're calling for three to five inches of snow today or tonight um, I gotta get the grass cut right now it's beautiful it's sunny out it's a little cold the car says 36 degrees but um, it's definitely a weird adjustment you know like uh, I just I don't know it's snow and then rain and then it's warm like what was it the one day it was almost 80 degrees out last week um, that one day I had Grant or that Grant was over it we got like what was that four inches of snow or something like that so I think the problem is the temperature is hovering right around the sweet spot for massive amounts of snow where if it was just a tickle bit warmer it would be you know a lot of rain or maybe not necessarily a lot of rain I I don't know how that works I heard that an inch of rain is like a foot of snow I don't know if that's true um, and uh, so we'll just kind of see what what happens with that I don't know I if I got time maybe like five o'clock I'm gonna cut the grass like it'd be really interesting if I cut the grass and shovel snow in the same day um, I, you know I don't know uh, the old folks homes are all locked down they are not letting anyone in or out I guess all those cars are the workers it's a lot of cars um, so every day Illinois I'm, I'm in Illinois Chicagoland area but every day in Illinois, there is more and more cases of positively identified infected CV-19 people. Um, yesterday, I think it was over 1,300 added. Um, so each day, it's around 12, 1,300 added um, every single day. So I don't know if that's the limit of our testing capabilities or if they're padding the numbers. Who the fuck knows? I don't know. But... Um, I think everyone's just burned out, man. Being stuck at home with literally like your only window is Facebook and social media. The, um, you know, everyone's losing their shit, man. There's so much fake information. Um, the people that do watch like the presidential uh, task force briefings or meetings or whatever, they only pick out like the parts that they want to bash him on instead of, you know, 
listening the entire message or whatever. That I find it very interesting. So um, I thought it was this week, but earlier in the week, President Trump came out and was really pissed and denounced the WHO, the World Health Organization, and said, you know, these guys did not do their job. We pay them to do their job. They're supposed to be a global organization that looks after the best interests of the globe and all the countries. And they said that they did not investigate properly claims coming out of China. And uh, Trump said that he uh, blames, you know, the Chinese government for pushing them to not do things properly and you know and then he um, basically said that we are going to pull funding for the um, WHO we being the United States and uh, you know it's pretty interesting it's very interesting so um, I heard I haven't confirmed it but I heard the Bill Gates Foundation is a larger, is like one of the largest benefactors or, or uh, contributors towards supporting the WHO. There's some shit going on, man. There's some massive shit going on in the background. So I don't know what's going on with that, but um, supposedly Bill Gates wants to microchip everyone. Bill Gates wants to vaccinate everybody. And, and it's this big new world order fucking thing or whatever. So. Um, you can see everyone racing to get to work by 10 or whatever. Everyone's like just cutting out in front of everybody. But, um, so I mean, I, you know, I don't know. I haven't had time to sit and watch, like, you know, some of my friends have been sending me all these conspiracy videos and stuff and, you know, it's cool and all, but I just haven't had time to entertain them yet. Um, I've been dicking around with that ukulele a little bit. I should probably record some of my playing on these videos and just kind of show where I'm starting at. Um, I don't really know what I'm doing. I'm just watching like tutorials on YouTube and stuff like that for these uh, ukulele tutor tutorials. Um, but last night, you know, I've had I've had this special ukulele for fuck I don't even know four years and uh, maybe longer, maybe three four years. But it's called the Pop Ukulele, and it's a smart ukulele where it pairs via Bluetooth to your phone, to their app, and it'll light up the fretboard and show you where to press the, the strings down. So, I thought that was kind of interesting, you know, um, but, you know, I've, I've tried it here and there over the years and just never had the time to kind of stick with it. So, now that I have fucking nothing but free time, I'm like, why not? So, um, I started with a, a few tutorials and stuff. I played a little bit with Jess. Um, there's some videos of her and I playing and stuff. It's kind of kind of cute. And um, last night I was like, dude, let me just turn this thing on and actually try the game or the app or whatever that teaches you. Like, why not? So I started doing that. Um, the beginning is like the most basic, basic parts. So I needed uh, to. You, you got to go through it to unlock the next step or whatever in the in the app. So I had to do it, but I kind of sat through some of that shit. Um, so we'll see. I'm just trying to get a little bit better and stuff. But there's some chords that I just can't bend my fingers to get the key to get the strings pressed down properly. I mean, uh, a ukulele fretboard does not give you much. Um, doesn't give you much room for any sort of uh, fat fingers, you know, so, um, but I, uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see how this goes, so last night we had a, a Zoom meeting, so two nights ago, I guess it was, what was it, was it Tuesday night, yeah, because I, I gave Grant back to his mom Tuesday night early, so Tuesday night I um, bought like a hundred dollars worth of Jackbox games on Steam. Steam is a content delivery platform for gamers. Um, I've been playing Steam since it originated. So I have a, uh, a email for a username and a six digit Steam ID. That's how old school I am. And uh, so Jackbox is this service or whatever where 
when you when like so I bought the game so I start the game and then other people will go and access the website and from any of their devices and they input their answers or whatever the game is that we're playing they do their input their user input through their phone through the website and then that sends it into the it pipes it right into the actual game or whatnot that I paid for so every participant doesn't have to pay for the game just one person and but they can all play so it's pretty cool the only thing is you have to essentially share like a TV screen or whatever um, so what I did was I, I hosted a zoom meeting I shared my screen so they can see like the game console on my on my computer with the questions and all that and then they just use their phones to input their answers at their houses or you know remote. It worked really well. Um, I bought five different Jackbox um, kits or whatever. So they're normally 25 bucks a piece. So I got five of them for a hundred bucks. And I know they got even more than the ones that I bought. But um, you know we played Quiplash. We played a couple other games. There's some drawing games where you get to draw pictures and then people have to guess or do different things and with the drawings and stuff. So it's kind of cool. Um, we had a good time. It was just late and everyone was tired as fuck, you know. No one was really excited about it. Um, but it was supposed to be Nikki and I, Luke and Ashley, and Ryan and Amelia. And Ryan and Amelia didn't quite join. It was weird. Like, I don't know. So, like, Ryan said he was busy. So he, like, connected but muted himself and turned off his video so I guess you could just like listen in or something it's fucking weird I don't know I don't know why he um, uh, he said afterwards he had a, he got home at 730 then had to fill a hole with dirt in his yard and do some other shit so I don't know what that was about um, so it was okay though so it was just basically the four of us um, Luke and Ash and me and Nikki we're gonna probably do the same thing on Saturday night with uh, Nikki's friends and they're a little bit more fun let's just put it that way for this type of stuff and my eye is twitching wow okay that's cool so I just went to the UPS store and dropped off Nikki's masks headed into work I gotta make some calls I gotta call and get Sophie's meds refilled so I'm hoping I can do that at some point so let me give them a call now